Working regeneratively is working in an evolutionary way. In a problem-solving and solution-scaling oriented culture, it is revolutionary to invite a more humble approach. Welcome to Pure Element 5. My name's Suzanne, and today's epiphany came from realizing that unceasing transformation is the new normal, and it demands a new way of leading that is fundamentally different to what we are used to. Nature is regenerative. Our organizations and systems must learn from the natural world because this is our home. We are nature. There is an inherent logic of life that we can learn to listen to. It is this intelligence and wisdom we now need to help our organizations thrive in the volatile times ahead. Paste on agile ways of working to a disconnected culture and the time and money will be wasted. We need culture and structure to be aligned. Through learning from living systems, we can help our organizations to become more regenerative. By the end of this video, you'll learn seven regenerative principles for leading by nature. It is time for leaders to shift from a mechanistic mindset to a regenerative mindset. This enables individuals, teams, organizations, and stakeholders to flow, adapt, and evolve in these volatile times. These seven principles are informed by science. They are also inspired by indigenous wisdom and other ancient wisdom traditions. Life is life affirming. This is the overarching principle. Life creates conditions conducive to life. Conscious, regenerative leaders seek only life-affirming activities and outcomes. They remain vigilant and watchful for anything that could be toxic, life-denying or degenerative. Life is ever-changing and responsive. Change is an inevitable aspect of life that we can embrace for the opportunity and leverage it offers us in learning, adaptation, resilience and evolution. Life learns and adapts through emergent, developmental and evolutionary dynamics. When we tune into life, we can discern these dynamics and apply them to our living organizations. Life is relational and collaborative. Everything in life consists of interrelating, interconnected systems nested within each other. Understanding these interconnections frees our perception from seeing and thinking in boxes or silos and instead into systems. Life is relationships, systems nested within systems. From the cells in our body to our neighborhood, society and economy, relationships abound. Life is synergistic and diverse. Life thrives on diversity. There wouldn't be life without diversity. Monocultures of sameness or groupthink undermine creativity, innovation, adaptability and resilience. Likewise, tensions of difference act as crucibles for learning and development. Life is cyclic and seasonal. Life unfolds through ebbs and flows of cycles and seasons. We are all cyclic beings in need of the processes that all seasons bring. The emergence of spring, the intensity of summer, the letting go of autumn and the deep restoration and reflection of winter. Life is flows of energy and matter. Life depends on innate ecosystem flows and cycles that enable recycling, reuse and renewal. Everything flows in a cyclic, interconnected way. Designing and operating with this understanding of energy flows enables us to recycle, reuse and renew in ways that do not undermine life's ecosystems. 
life is pervaded by a living system's source field. Both shamanic and scientific evidence points to an all-pervasive field that informs everything. We have been brought up in an age where the understanding of this field is largely absent from how we see the world. As we evolve into regenerative leadership consciousness, we sense the interconnectedness of all life and recognize this source field of interconnection. If you thought this was pure engagement, please give us a thumbs up. And if you thought it was pure poo, feel free to give us a thumbs down. It helps us create the content you want to see. The links are down below if you want to catch us on other mediums, along with a link to our website so you can download our free ebook. Until we meet again, the essence of who you truly are is pure love. Go out and connect with someone and show them the love.